empty hearts and neon lights The playing with my mind Gotta get out of here tonight Oh, I wanna run off, I am So first we are going to change our diaper and then we are going to wear the sweater. It's so cold here, right? You kiss the head of your child and start changing his diaper. After that, sleep like a good boy, okay? I had lots of boxes to unpack. The boy giggled making you smile. Oh, look at my praise. How happy you are looking. Did you like our new house? You buttoned your sweater and pick him up in your arms. From now on, this is our sweet home. We are going to make lots of memories with you here. He grabbed your finger and put it in his mouth with a pot. Oh, why are you so cute, my baby? You gently pinch his nose. I wonder where you get these charms, huh? Of course, from his dad, you turned back and saw Jungkook standing leaning on the door with his legs and arms crossed. I know, I know how handsome you are. He chuckled and walked towards you. Is he already asleep? He is not someone who sleeps this early. Jungkook kissed his head and then your cheeks. I bring the dinner for us. He shows the package to you, making your smile grow wider. Wow, you saved me today. I was not in the mood to make dinner and you read my mind. Let's have it before it gets cold. You nodded happily. Let me put him to sleep, then we will have our dinner. I want to tell you lots of things. Jungkook smiled, looking at how patiently you were waiting for him to sleep so you can have your dinner. How you do all this every day? You looked at him with frown brows. I do what? Taking care of him, holding him in your arms almost all the time. You smiled and potted, thinking of some seconds. Well, I forgot. It. You smiled and nodded while he chuckled. Now it's become my habit. Things seem normal now. No difficulty. Everything seems happen on its own. Won't your arms hurt? I don't know how hard it is to take care of him. As time is passing, I am forgetting it all. I took care of him for only half a day, but it felt like I worked all night. You smiled and looked at Jungsoo with love and soft eyes. As you become a parent, you have also entered a new life, and as much as it is hard, it's also make you stronger. You also had to teach me all this. You nodded and fixed Jungsu on your shoulder. Okay, but now I am feeling hungry. Let's have dinner first. But Jungsu, I don't think he is going to sleep now. You put him in Jungkook's arm, but as soon as he looked at his face, he started crying, making you laugh. He don't like you. I'm your dad boy, I worked all day for you only. He listened to Jungkook for a while and when he stopped, he started crying again. Jungkook sighed and looked at you. Is there something on my face? Your brows raised in the confusion. I don't meet his standards, but I am not that bad looking, right? You nodded while laughing at Jungkook's spotted face. I know how you must be feeling. He is just a small child and going to understand everything once he grew up. Why do you care? Because you already become his favorite. You raised your brows. Seriously, you think he doesn't like you because of me? Do I have to say it? You looked at him in disbelief. I think you got the death wish. Stop dinner for us when you can't take care of a child. You said in a cold voice and in return he just smiled. Don't become an angry bird, my lady boss. This servant of yours is always here to help you. You smile and the three of you went downstairs giggling and laughing while playing with Jungsoo. Jungkook's first wife, JC, left him the right on the day she gave birth to Jungsoo. It's not like she ran away. They both agreed to it because JC thought their love is not that strong that they can carry it forever. Jungkook tried to make her understand to try to give this relation chance, but she won't agree to this. She leaves Jungsoo because she don't want the responsibility on her head. After a month, Jungkook's father arranges marriage with his friend's daughter Yen. It does take time to fall in love, but Jungkook decided to leave his past and give Yen what she deserves. Yen got a child even before she entered the house, but she loved him like her own child, so that he never feels like he lost his mother. And this personality steals Jungkook's heart, and this is what made him fall in love with her. 
Now they decided to be together forever. Sometimes we got things which were unexpected. If God takes something from you, he will give you back the same thing to you but in more beautiful way. Really, you stuffed your mouth with an egg and looked at him. You know how embarrassing it was for me. She come to say hello and he pee on her and even pull her hairs. Jungkook laughed while you rolled your eyes. You think it's funny? I don't get time to say sorry to her properly. My boy got guts. Little too much. Can you please take out all the boxes from the garage? I need to unpack them. He nodded and looked at Jungsoo who was already fall asleep. You are so lucky to see him every second. I agree. He is a troublemaker but I love him. Jungkook smiled and stove his hair. Eating for him to grow and call me dad. Which granted, he is 8 months old and the first thing he is going to say is dad. Jungkook looked at you while you smiled. Now go and take out the boxes from the garage. You take all the dishes and walk inside the kitchen while he got up and to take the boxes. You were working in the kitchen while Jungkook was unpacking the stuff and Jungsoo was sleeping peacefully. Suddenly someone rang the bell. You wipe your hands with a towel and walk to open the door. Why should we need to keep all this? We will see it later but first find Jungkook's stepper. You open the door and your smile drop and your hands tighten on the door when you saw the person standing in front of you the pale and bone skinny girl with red eyes Won't you welcome me you hesitantly walked aside giving her way to walk inside to which she chuckled You really welcoming me you are not here to take what is mine i think i can believe you she smiled and nodded I am not that bad She walked inside while you lead him the way to the living room. When you shifted here just yesterday, she nodded looking around the walls and the decoration of the house. Everything is arranged so well like you were living here for so long. You didn't answer her back just keep crossing your fingers in hope that everything going to be fine. Why and where were you? Who was He stopped when his eyes fall on JC. He looked at you and you mouthed him it's okay. I take out his wrappers and also pack your clothes. You nodded and looked at JC but her moist eyes were lost somewhere else. You followed her eyes and it was on Jungsoo who was playing with a toy in his mouth. Did you wake him up? No, I think it's because of the noises. He said knowing whom you were talking about. You guys talk I will put him to sleep. You lift Jungsu in your arms and bend to take his toy. Did the pa wake you up my prince? You fix him on your shoulder and walk towards your room. Now sleep as a good boy. Mom and dad had some work to finish, okay? I come to take Jungsu. Your feet stop in their places. You feel like someone asks for your soul. Why are not you happy with Jack anymore? Jesse looked at Jungkook and then quickly looked away. It's my matter. If I didn't butt in your personal life, then I think you should respect mine too. I come to know that you shifted here. That's why I came here. You turned to her. Anger and tears were visible in your eyes. You said you are not here to take something which is mine. I am not asking for your thing. Jungsu is mine. Your grip on his back get tightened. I gave him birth and want him back now. Stop calling him yours. You were not here when Jungkook was struggling to raise him. You were not here when he cries late at night. Then why now? You say trying to stay as calm as possible because I'm freaking alone. Then that doesn't mean you just show up all of a sudden and ask for thing you left already. You both stop after shouting at each other. Tears roll down as your heart was beating in fear. I am not asking you for anything. You are the third person here. Only me and Jungkook had the right to say in his case. But she deserves Jungsoo more than me. She can be good mother for him more than you. Jungkook, I just I am not saying this because she is my wife or I hate you now, but as a father, what I thought is right for my child. In this room right now, the person who deserves Jungsoo is Vyan it's easy to give birth and even raise your child but loving someone else child as yours is something appreciated
you both are just thinking about yourself she had you she can start her life again with you but what about me i had no way to go and no one to rely on where i can go all i am left with is jungsu and i can't just let him go away from me not at any cost you didn't think all of this when you leave a newborn child alone who was stepped into the world and you left him where was this motherly love then I don't know. I don't know what was in my mind that I bring all this to my life, but now I want to set some good things. Get out of my house. They both looked at you while your eyes were shedding tears. I said, "Get out of my house. There is nothing which you can say is yours." I never stop you to meet any of them, and it's because I believe in Jungkook and know how it feels to stay away from your child. She sighed and looked at you. You know what I come here just to tell you that I am going to get my child no matter what not this way then by a court your eye shows the expression of disbelief you are lying right i never do when i say i really meant it i come so that we can solve this between us and remain close to each other it seem like this is not going to work didn't she already say you to leave then why are you still standing here But Jungkook she just leave from here. He said raising his voice a little. I'm going to take him back no matter what. He is mine and only mine. She said and left from there leaving you cry and broke in tears. Jungkook come near you and hugged you tightly. No one is going to take him away from you. He is our child. You looked at Jungkook with your teary eyes. You did you see her eyes? She used to drink. How can we leave our child to rust in hell? Don't worry I'm going to talk to my lawyer. No Jungkook please. She is a single mother and needs someone to look after her in the future. She is going to win the custody. Please do something else. Try to talk to her please. You said crying in mess. Jungkook covered your face and wiped your tears with his thumb. I'm not going to let him go away from you. You pressed Jungkook close to your chest and start crying louder. You were looking at the dark sky and your eyes got teary again. It's been a week since Jessie went custody and take Jungsu with her. This week you got the experience lots of things. Even got to know that you are pregnant, but it doesn't make you happy the way it should be. Most of the time you spend crying alone in your room. You have had nothing to do since Jungsu left. Remembering the day when they snatch him from your hands and leave you crying in mess still hurts you. You were standing near the window looking at the dark sky full with a full moon and your mind and heart both were empty just hoping for a miracle to happen you touch your belly and feel sorry for the angel who was inside you you want to be happy for the child but the sorrow of Jungsu can't let you why yen his soft voice emerged in your ears you look behind at him he was looking tired because of his work a smile formed on your lips on its own even when you are sad Did you eat something? He asked as he walked up to you to which you nodded looking down. Stop lying to me. I told you to eat your meal properly. You always locked yourself after Jungkook left and it's become your habit since Jungsu is not with you. You just trying to forget him but the more you look at this house the more his memories hit you. I'm tired of this but I will wait till you understand. He said giving you a disappointed glance and leaving for the bathroom. You let out a heavy breath and looked at him leaving. You don't understand what you have to understand. You can't believe how can someone be so cruel that someone snatches their child but still hoping for a normal life. You know he is sad too but can't understand the fact that he want you to understand. After getting fresh in up He came out of the bathroom and saw you lying on the bed staring at the ceiling without blinking or moving a bit. He looked at you with a broken heart as it really hurt him to see you in such a sad state. He lay down on the bed beside you but you didn't even looked at him and turned around to sleep. Why and good night Jungkook you look tired. Is this how much you believe? You felt like your heart crushed. You do believe him but for now you are in a state where you can't accept the fact going on with you. I just can't accept the fact that he is not with me anymore. I'm not going to hold him anymore. I wish he is doing well. Some pain can never be healed or forgotten, 
the pain of a mother losing her child needs lots of time to get used to with the pain it can never be healed but you get used to it and start living with it people easily say that he was not in your fate so moved on but how hard it is for your heart to accept the fate no one could understand jungkook begged her you taking you in his embrace when he heard your light sobs it's not how we are going to deal with this is it i know how you might be feeling but you won't cry i know but jungkook i can't just put the stone on my heart like you it hurts let's eat something i'm not in the mood please jungkook don't force me today for once let me live like this he didn't say anything after that you turned to him and closed your eyes while hugging him tears left his eyes but he keeps them away from you Jungsu stopped crying. Look, we are already here. Jungsu was crying loudly as he was suffering from a high fever. Look, you are going to be fine soon. Just let's meet the doctor and he will give you medicines, okay? He holds him correctly on his shoulder and take out some paper from my purse, but they got to fall. Stop crying, Jungsu. She bent to take the papers, but someone else take them for her. Here, give him to me and clear all the formalities. She nodded and gave Jungsu in your arms. You looked at Jungsu who was crying louder. His face was red because of a fever and his skin also looked pale and thin. Jungsu, ah, stop crying baby, you are going to be all fine. Everyone said a baby had a heart of God that he understand the person to whom their heart connect was. As soon as he heard your voice, he stopped crying and grabbed your index finger, putting it in his mouth. You smiled in your tears, seeing him smiling. Jesse looked at you both and quickly looked away, ignoring the fact that you really best for him. Why and we are? You glanced at him to slow down. He walked near you and get shocked to see Jungsu with you. You smiled and said him to look at Jungsu, but his eyes were on you, tracing every inch of your white smile. Jungsu sleep in your arms. Soon Jesse come to you and asks for his son. And again your heart dropped and tears filled your eyes. You looked at Jungkook and slowly shook your head, but he didn't listen to you and forcefully give him back to her. Let's go. We needs to go for a checkup. But Jungkook he is he grab your shoulder and gently drag you out of there. Your eyes were still on them, pleading to let you with him. Jungkook walked inside the room and was followed by Jessie. You got up surprised not by her present but when you saw Jungsoo in her arms. J- Jungkook, she wants to talk to you. Jessie smiled at you and handed you some paper. You forgot them in the hospital. I see you are pregnant. Good to hear that you both already started your family, hoping for happiness in your life. You were not hearing what she was saying because all your attention was on Jungsoo who was still sleeping and she kind of read your stares. He's sleeping since you left the hospital. You know the longest time he ever sleeps. I want to meet you guys for the last time. You looked at her confused. I'm moving to the states. I got a job there. When you are going to come back? For how long you are going? She chuckled and nodded. I didn't create any good memory here, you know. I don't think there is any point to come back. Jessie, I'm asking you this thing for the last time. Please let me with Jungsoo this night. I promise I will send him back with Jungkook early in the morning. But please let me spend a night with him. I won't ask for more. Jessie's eyes were moist, not the drunk one, but the sad one. She looked down and smiled sadly. It's only a week and I was trying my heart out to see his smile but all he could do is crying and even he didn't eat anything properly but today just by going in your arms I saw the smile I was longing for Now I got to know why he said you deserve him more than us you can have him not for today but for forever You looked at Jungkook as a sudden fear rushed down to your body how things were going fine with you Jungkook smiled at you and nodded. Jesse gave you Jungsoo and you again feel the happiness you feel when you first take him in your arms. I hope you will love him the same even when your child comes. I'm going to love him the most in every condition. You said and hugging him tightly. You always own me for this kindness of yours. It's hard to give time to get your child these days but you are loving him like yours. I can be the luckiest person. Jungkook was right you are the only one for him. 
smile and thank her thank you so much you can come to meet him any time don't tell him that i am the one who gave him birth it better to live as his aunt rather than getting hated by him he will not do anything like this jessie smiled and shook her head slightly it's okay you are his real mother because the one who raised the child deserves more than the one who gave birth she kissed jungsoo's cheek and again smiled at you sorry for what i did and live a happy life okay you are going to give him a sister right you looked at jungkook and shook your head don't know what it is but i still want him with me i should leave now you nodded and she left there smiling at you jungkook walked towards you and kissed his son's forehead your love brings him back to you and that to be for forever you both stared at jungsoo and smiled